Hi guys! Today I will be reviewing the best food processor products. You can find the product links in the description section. Let's start! The 70730 by Hamilton Beach is a food processor that can hold up to 10 cups of food, making it ideal for any family. The slice and shredding disc in both reversible and the S blade is great for mixing, pureeing, and chopping. It is a great size that doesn't take up a lot of counter space, making it ideal for small kitchens, but definitely works well for larger kitchens as well. The discs are all labeled so that there's no guessing involved in deciding which one to use. It is great for chopping nuts, onions, garlic, meat, celery, bread, herbs, crackers, and a variety of other items. It can also be used to puree fruits and vegetables to make delicious baby food and for soups or sauces for the family. This unit features suction cups on the bottom to prevent it from tumbling to the side as they keep the appliance stable and in place. Overall verdict! This is a very nice processor that is very easy to clean and straightforward to use. The Cuisinart FP8 SV has a 350 watt motor, but just how powerful is 350 watts? I took a look around to determine what the competition had to offer. The more powerful Cuisinart FP14 DCN has a 1300 watt motor. That's almost four times as much power, but it costs a lot more. Conversely, the Black and Amp. Decker F1600B is an economically priced food processor and it has a 450 watt motor. How does this power translate to performance? That's what's really important. When I think about a food processor, there's a few jobs that it must be able to perform without fail. Cutting, chopping, and slicing vegetables are just the beginning. A good food processor will help you with a number of jobs in your kitchen to include grinding meat, pureeing, and mixing dough etc. Based on customer feedback, this food processor is good at making dough as long as you stick to the 2.5 cup maximum per batch. In fact, that is exactly what some customers bought their food processor for. There are reports of people using this processor to make chicken salad, grate cheese, and make hummus, salsa, nut butters, and even hot soup. The Cuisinart FB8 SV is not airtight, however. So be sure to use a towel or other clothes to cover the chute when you make certain dishes, like soup. What do customers think about the Cuisinart FB 8SV? Reading through the customer reviews for this product reinforced my opinion that this is a high quality machine. It is very powerful, a fact that is backed up by customers. Even though this is a high quality product made by one of the most trusted brands in small kitchen appliances, there were some customers that had poor experiences, however, some unlucky customers received units that were DOA. Dead on arrival? That doesn't alarm me at all. Look, it is very frustration to deal with an appliance that doesn't work right after purchasing. But that is not an indication of a poor quality product. It happens. About two years ago, Sarah and I purchased an air purifier for our basement. We brought it home. It didn't work. Took it back. Got a new one and it's been running nonstop ever since. Summary. After researching the Cuisinart FB8 SV, I think that it is a quality product that is going to be around for a while yet. The 350 watt motor might not seem very powerful compared to the 1300 watt monsters out there, but customers report different experiences. This machine is capable of handling many kitchen jobs. This machine is a workhorse. It will slice and dice up vegetables like nobody's business. It is easy to use, easy to clean, and will satisfy your performance expectations at this price level. As Cuisinart has been making these kinds of machines for ages, I feel confident that this is one that will last a long time. Designed to be uniquely simple, the Hamilton Beach Stack and Amp Snap 12 Cup Food Processor requires no twisting, turning or locking during assembly. Chop, slice, shred, Mix and puree just about anything with the powerful 450 watt motor. Stainless steel S blade and reversible slice shred disc. The bowl is specially designed to fit directly on the base and the lid snaps securely to the bowl with simple locking clips for safe operation. No more guessing whether it's put together correctly. Just stack and snap the parts into place. The sealed bowl holds up to 12 cups of liquid, 
which reduces the need for multiple batches when processing soups or other liquids. Messy drips can be avoided with the built-in pour spout. Use the S-blade for chopping nuts, meat, garlic, onions, peppers, celery, herbs, bread and crackers. Mix salad dressings, puree soups or sauces, and grate cheese. Use the reversible slice shred disc to slice foods like cucumbers, squash, mushrooms, carrots, tomatoes, peppers and firm cheeses or shred potatoes. This 24 ounce, three cup Cuisinart mini prep plus features a super powerful 250 watt motor that works at high speed and it is able to process any sort of small tasks without any problems. Besides the motor, the machine also boasts the auto-reversing smart power stainless steel blade that is painted by Cuisinart. It is an ultra-sharp blade for delicate tasks such as chopping, blending, pureeing, etc. For grinding other harder foods, you can utilize the blunt edge of blade to achieve the results that you want. As this mini processor is designed for smaller quantity usage, it only has a capacity of 3 cup working bowl and you certainly do not want to overwork or overload it. My advice for consumers is always to cut the foods into smaller uniform pieces so they can feed inside the chute effortlessly. Featuring just two buns, the grind and chop, it allows you to go clockwise or counterclockwise with power and control. After the food are processed, make sure they should be less than two thirds of the capacity and should not be the same level as the blade assembly, or else it will be considered overloading. Another good thing about this chopper is that the bowls are made of BPA-free plastics, so you do not have to worry about health concerns here. Though this min prep food processor isn't the quietest in the market, the feedback that I have gotten from consumers is that they find it pretty quiet and within the acceptable noise range. Of course, noise is very subjective for different people. Some may not be able to even tolerate a little bit of noise. When this machine does its chopping, it will produce noise, but because it chops so quickly, you won't really feel that the noise is overwhelming. As compared to some other machines, we would give it a 4 out of 10 for the noise level, with 10 being the loudest. Since the food processor is small sized, it requires minimum space for storage and most likely you will not face a hard time trying to keep it. You can even keep the excess cord inside the hidden compartment located at the base of the machine. It is always a good practice to assemble the unit as whole before storing so that the parts will not be easily lost. Thanks for watching. You must not forget to subscribe and comment. See you in the other review videos.